Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN, the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. Yes, yeah, sister's lips are dry, chapstick. <laughs> like, why don't I do this before the video? Because this is part of the crazy in TCTN. So, it is probably like, you ever hear those sirens out there? What was I saying? <laughs> it's about 3.15 a.m. Sunday morning. November 10th now, I believe. I just got back in from uh, Baltimore Playhouse. I was managing um, an event last night. I'm one of their managers. And so, sorry for the noise. Uh, I'm going to try and be quick. Just because I can't. This face I put on before I left. This face has been on uh, since I think 5 o'clock. This is the video that I uploaded that's called something like... Um, easy base face for mature skin or something like that and so I'm just going to take just a little bit of the chapstick off because I'm going to use one of my stunners this one I don't know what shade it is I do have my reading glasses here it's the brown one I don't want to <laughs> take up more time than necessary and I think I wore this a couple times already and I really like these and so I am really only doing this for the video because as I said, it is almost 3.20 now in the morning. I really like how smoothly these go on. I should have did a really thin layer, let it dry, and then do another layer. I can feel it moving around when I do that. So it feels right now like a regular gloss. They do dry down into a stain, but I really need to practice just doing a really thin layer, letting it dry, then do another layer, let it dry, then do another layer. So then if I eat or drink something oily, um, well, not drink something oily, uh, <laughs> but if I eat something oily, if a little bit comes off, it won't like take all of it off. And how with some lip products, the inside of your lip, like in here, like that part will come off and then like your lips just look really weird. And I think that may help that. So anyway, to the video. See, now it's not feeling slippery. I'm being silly. Welcome to the crazy. This video, I wanted to try out the Urban Decay On The Run G Train palette, which I received the other day. That I purchased from Sephora, not PR. I probably will never in my life get PR. I am so much a nobody on here. But I just wanted to see what, what it's going to do. And I always come in wired because I drink Mountain Dew when I'm at the events. Because the events are from, from 8 at night to 2 in the morning. It takes me an hour to get there, hour to get home. So that's why it's always like after 3 o'clock. And so I'm always a little wired from Mountain Dew. So I'm like, huh, oh, let's do a video. So this is what it looks like. And so I'm going to first put on my Fenty eyeshadow primer, which I love. My foundation is cracking around my nose. So sorry about that. I know that probably looked really weird. And no, I will not edit it out because why? Say it with me. Welcome to the crazy. <laughs> so I'm going to put Put this primer on. I hope I didn't forget to bring anything here. I don't think I did. I have my brow pencil here. I did not bring mascara intentionally because it's just going to get wiped off after this video. And for me, because I use, um, I know I just stopped talking, right? <laughs> some makeup I can do talking and some I cannot. And this is one of those things. I don't want to get it on my contact lens. Sometimes I don't even put primer underneath my lower lash line, but I did today, as you see. So I'm going to take whatever brush this is. These are all Real Techniques brushes except this one. This one came in BoxyCharm a few months ago. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. It is, I believe, a crease brush. I love their brushes. And just blend out the eyeshadow primer. Okay, what was I saying before that? I have a habit of doing that, I'm realizing. I'll start to say something and then I'll stop. And I really don't remember what it was I was going to say. Um, 
Mascara. I don't go for the spiderweb look. So when I wear mascara, honestly, usually when I wear it, it's simply just to get the eyeshadow out of my lashes. <laughs> like seriously, um, I am happy with my eyelashes, and I'm sure you can't see them. They're not really long, but like looking in the mirror, I can see them. And, and mascara does add um, a little bit of. Look at me now. I can't talk again. It does add definition to my eyelashes. It does make them look darker, which makes them look more noticeable. It makes your eyes look wider, blah, 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 blah. But on a day to day, like if I don't wear eyeshadow, I don't wear mascara. And sometimes when I do wear eyeshadow, I still may not do mascara, especially if it's going to be a really long day because after a while it may start to flake and then it gets in my eyes. I wear contacts, it irritates my eyes and all of that stuff. So I usually just don't. So we're going to take break down this color here and I'm gonna use that same brush that I just used and I'm just dipping it into and I'm gonna stamp it first because the Fenty eyeshadow primer <laughs> is tacky and so I find for me it's better to stamp the color first and then blend it and I'm hoping this is looking okay on camera because in the mirror down here it's looking good, but we always, we know that sometimes things translate different through the lens. And if it still feels a little tacky when I start to blend it, I'll just dip it back in, tap it off, and then finish stamping it before I try to blend it. Okay, so now it's smooth. Because otherwise the brush will skip and it'll be noticeable in the eyeshadow, like right here. I don't know if it's showing up, but right here I can tell where it skipped. Which is when I realized I needed to dip it back in before I tried to blend it. So I'm still just adding more of that color. This is a really shimmery color. And so I don't know if I want to take this all the way up as a brow bone highlight because it is very shimmery. I like the Real Techniques brushes because I don't get a lot of fallout when I use these brushes. And they're inexpensive enough where even if they last me two years, I'm happy. And I've had, I've, I have had some for two years already. Very inexpensive, I purchased them from Ulta. So if they have like sets on sale or something, or um, buy one, get one, that is shimmery, oh my gosh. <laughs> If they have have a sale, like buy one, get one half off, get a set. Get two sets because one is half off. I'm going to take this shade here, which I probably should not. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take Subway. This is a matte shade, and I'm going to put that on top of Breakdown because I am not liking how bright that is. I think that would be good for um, a lid color, like just a nice shiny sheer wash of color on the lid but i'm not liking it in the crease because this thing is shiny all right i'm liking this a little better this is subway and it is really not covering that up and this is not a, a deep shade either and so i'm trying to build it up right now i like how these on the run palettes um, I like the, the colors. I like how they blend. Very easy to travel with. I'm still trying to build up this color because that first shade bright down. Ooh, you I mean, you would not be broke down for long with that bright color. I tell you that. Um, you know what? I think that would be really beautiful on deeper skin tones because it is such a um, standout color. But for me, it's just making me look brighter. <laughs> but I do think it would be, you know, just a basic lid color for just every day and just deepen up the crease, but definitely not in the crease like how I did it. See, now this, you know, if I wanted to be really basic, I could just put this all over the lid and just go, or put this all over the lid and then put um, tunnel in the outer corner, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to still use the same brush. I did bring other brushes here, but 
you know, I'm just feeling like not using different brushes right now. So I'm going to put this in the outer corner and feather it inward a little bit. So in the crease and also feathering it in on the lid. So this whole outer, well I guess it, well it's ending up being <laughs> the outer third of my lid. Um, yeah, I think it's alright. Yeah, I think it's doing alright. Trying to decide if I like it, but it's basic. I can't, and I am basic. I do like a bold lip though. Shades like these, these colors, it's hard to mess up on. And so that's what makes me like them. But initially it's like, this is it. Like, this is all I get. <laughs> but as I think about it, especially knowing that this is going to go into my makeup travel case, I know I can put this on like now and not look crazy. Because whatever I do, it's not... See, I feel shadow on my lashes. So I know I can just take this and do this and then not look like, oh my gosh, what happened? And then you have to go back and try and fix it and then you're pulling out other palettes and other colors. Like this to me, I would go out like this. You know, I would bring this a little over into my crease a little bit because I think those other colors are still a little light. Um, but yeah, this is this could be a basic just every day. Go out to the grocery store, go to the post office, run errands type of thing. There is some fallout in the pan, but there's none on my face. Huh, I like that. I'm going to take now a different um, Real Techniques brush. The first one. I'm reading it upside down. I'm taking up too much time. I believe that was a crease brush. This one is Jeepers. This one is just a shader brush. So you know I want to know what the first one was, but I'm taking up too much time. Yeah, this was a deluxe crease brush, that, the one I was using initially. I'm going to take, just because I can, this green, and I'm kind of concerned about it because it, it looks a little too cool toned for my liking. I tend to look ashy in cool tone colors. But we're going, and this is a slanted brush, which I like too. And it helps me place shadow where I want it, which reduces fallout. And there's a mirror here, but I'm using the mirror that's here. Yeah, I don't like this green color. Um, it is a little too cool for me. I don't think it's an ugly color. Just on me, I don't prefer. It lays down really nicely with this brush. And it covered... I didn't even take the cellophane off of here, and I'm trying to look in this mirror just to get a closer look at my eye it lays on really nicely I think it is a nice color I just don't like cool tones on me um, I think they do kind of wash me out I think they make me look a little casket ready which is code for you know makes me look ashy or my skin look ashy or a little dull. That's the word. They make me look. I think they make me look a little dull. But it is a nice color. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> and I would actually do this again. I, I I would do this look only because I'm not done with it yet. I'm going to put the shimmery green on top of it and see if that brings it some life. And as you see, I am taking it a little bit into the crease, but not a lot. I try to go just into the crease enough where if I'm looking at the person, they can still see that color versus just when I blink, you see the green. So I try to take it up just enough where you'll still see it just a little bit. And depending on the color, I do take it up even a little bit higher. But because I don't really like this color, I'm not going to do that. So now we're going to the same brush. I'm going to wipe it off on this, this hand towel I have down here as much as I can. Because this is like really in this brush. I'm going to take Night Trip, which is this shimmery green here. 
which also looks a little cool tone but because it's a shimmery shade i'm hoping it'll give it some life Let me know what you think. I can see a difference in the mirror down here. It does look a little shimmery. You know what? I should have did one with this on the lid and the matte G train on the other lid just to see. I like how this did give it life. Like this I would do again. And it's probably not looking any different <laughs> on your side of the screen. But for me, just that little bit of shimmer... I can dig it and I would definitely do this again and it's a very easy look to do as you saw and if I wasn't talking so much I would be able to edit out when I do the other eye <laughs> now some people they just talk through one eye and then when they come back again the other eye is done so I don't know do you guys like watching this, these entire videos or is this just like too long Me personally, like, I like seeing the entire process because sometimes people's eyes are so perfect. I'm like, okay, how did they do that? Like, that doesn't, that never works that way. And I have trouble doing one eye and then the other one later and it looked the same. Even though years ago when I used to do... Did that fall out on my face? I don't know. What am I going to do now? I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going... Just for the sake of it being there, I'm going to take... City Kitty for my inner corner. I'm using a fluffy shader brush and put this on. Oh, that's might have fall out. And I'm just going to brush this. I don't know if that's doing anything, but we're going to put it there. I don't think. I don't know. Just for the sake of using it, because I don't think it's really. Sorry about shaking that I hit the table. I don't know if this is making a difference. <laughs> that one I do have fallout, and I'm, I'm sure it's because it is brushed. And I don't, yeah, I do have fallout from that. Yeah, that's ugly. And you guys probably can't see it, but there's like a streak. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this little brush and go back, Sheesh. I'm actually gonna take Night Trip and put that underneath my lower lash line. You know what? I had a, a brow pencil to put under there. And then I was going to put a powder shadow on top of it. But I completely got ahead of myself. Yeah, I have fallout right here. And it's green. It was a shimmery green. All right, so we're done with this palette. We're going to take the Lorac. It's oh, a long title. Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner. I might as well have put on mascara since I was doing eyeliner, right? Or not. This mirror down here looks so far away, and I'm hoping I don't, like, make a wrong move and just be like <laughs> let me know what you guys think about these longer videos because personally I don't like watching videos over like 10 or 12 minutes and so I try not to make long videos because I don't particularly <laughs> like long videos but let me know what you guys think like if you guys don't mind you know I'll just you know do what I do but if you guys prefer like under 10 minutes then I'll just alter what I'm doing or don't talk through one eye so that I can edit that eye out when I'm doing a look or just work on having one eye done. That's what I was going to say. Years ago when I did um, YouTube videos, I did actually get to a point where I was able to do one eye off camera and then do the other eye on camera and they come out the same. But it took me like a long time to get to that point and I, I don't know why it was like so challenging for me to not do them at the same time and have them look somewhat the same because if we're honest very few of us ever do our eyes and they look the same <laughs> so this is a NARS cold pencil and this one is 
I'm sorry, coal liner. And it's kind of bluish. Oh, yeah, there you go. You see that color? That's the color. I don't know what the shade is on here. Made in Germany. <laughs> and my reading glasses are like right here. I am just... So I'm going to put this... Oh, man. It's not twisted. There we go. On my waterline. I like blues and purples. Blues and dark purples on my waterline. I think it makes my brown eyes pop. I tried these because I'm I have still not been able to find um the Buxom Inside Eyeliner in Sapphire. That's the one I've been using probably over ten years now. And it's been the only inside eyeliner. Inside meaning for your inner room, specifically for your inner rooms. Um, that didn't irritate my eyes. This one says you can use it for both your inner realm and like your upper and lower lash line but I purchased this specifically to see if um, it would work for me on my inner realm and so far it has after a few hours my eyes do get dry and so if I'm going to be out all day or like all night I do not put it on and so that's what that does I think it adds like just enough um, definition to my eyes without making my eyes look smaller last thing we're going to do oh we're at 20 minutes oh nelly so <laughs> for the sake of having done my eyes i'm also going to do my brows oh thank if you're still here thank you for being here and please 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 do let me know if you like you know long videos because i don't want to do long ones if you guys are like okay this girl's still talking because I can make them shorter. I definitely can do that. I can edit stuff out and not talk so much. So please, let me know. I'm not easily offended at all. So please just comment and let me know. Because otherwise, they may tend to be long and you guys won't watch them. And I do want to do videos that you guys actually enjoy watching and not, and not like, oh, okay, next video, please shut up. Cause sometimes I do click off videos. I'm just like, okay, it's just too much. It's too long. Because for 20 minutes, I can watch two videos from other people versus just one from one person. Unless they're like super, super interesting. Um, but the way my time is set up, <laughs> you know, I try to maximize my time. And so I prefer videos actually 10 minutes or less but you know i'll do a, a 12 minute video here and there or a 15 minute video here and there but it's challenging for me so this is the face that we have and i would actually do this look again very easy palette again again this is the urban decay on the run g train this is what that looks like and i used actually excuse me all the colors except these two no, I did use this one. I used them all except, did I use that one? I'm gonna have to watch the video. No, I did not use tracks. I did not use this one and I did not use this one. Did not use, did not use. All the other ones I did. What do you think about the look? Easy peasy. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. If anything particular you want to see from me, let me know. And again, thank you. This is feeling really comfortable on my lips. The Fenty Stunner, the brown one. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and you will see me in the next video. Bye.